Hey guys, how are you? This is Moni from BT Magic. So recently I've received a lot of comments asking me to show the writing part from Moxie. So in this video, we're going to have a look at essay and summary written text. Okay, so the first part is summary written text. Um, we're just going to read through it quickly to find the key topic, the main topic. It actually talks about economic forecasting, so that's what we have to include in our summary. I'm just going to take the first sentence and paraphrase it. In the corporate sector, forecasting is usually a key function to do the job they draw upon a wide range of statistical data. Okay, mm, economic forecasting um, plays an important role in the business sector. You can see that I'm paraphrasing the first sentence. However, make sure that all the words that you find as alternative to the words in the text must be exact synonym. Okay? The reason being is that if you pick a different word, you might end up with losing your keyword. You can see that I also included a transitional word, however, because I mentioned before you should maintain your written discourse, just don't overuse them. <laughs> I didn't use anything much from second paragraph because I feel like it's kind of like examples of the points f of the first paragraph.
Okay. According to the passage, economic forecasting plays an important role in the important uh, salient role in the business business its corporate sector as economists are required to approach a variety of statistical data required they they draw upon a wide range of statistical data however the presumptions about how economy operates may differentiate and conflict moreover william shaden maintained a uh, shaden his name is shaden um, maintains that there is a limited record of economic forecasting for volatile statistics compared to other stable statistics as well as statistics for inflation. <laughs> I changed the the order uh, for inflation and real GNP growth. Um, so this way uh, we can ensure that we include all the keywords because you know some of you um, may not even catch which one are the main points and the main keywords so we need to include all the the words that related to this topic specifically mm, and we need to stay within the word count all right uh, no more than 75 words okay let's move on okay for this one i'm just going to skip the part where i'm doing it just to shorten the video but you can pause the video to write your own summary um, and just in the comment below otherwise let's have a look at my answer travel and tourism industry creates a high gdp rate and an immense amount of employment opportunities for the growing global economy furthermore these jobs are expanding across the economy recruiting and providing training to a significant number of individuals hence uh, tourism acts as a stimulant for conserving and ameliorating the environment as well as preserving cultural diversity with comparative advantage of low operating costs in comparison to other fields. Grammar should be all correct and there should be, shouldn't be any spelling mistakes. Uh, we also have all the linking words here for the mom, hands, um, two is probably enough. Okay, um, and we included all the keywords in here like travel and tourism, you know, GDP, employment opportunities, um, global economy, uh, recruiting, training, uh, conserving uh, environment, diversity, uh, comparative advantage, um, low cost, right, and within the word count limit. Okay, let's move on. Some say that in today's world, the value of humanity has been eclipsed by the necessity of preparing for specific wealth producing careers, such as medicine. Discuss whether you think there is a role in today's changing world for study of the humanities. Okay, uh, remember you have 20 minutes and you have to write 200 to 300 words. So first thing, um, First thing we need to do is to plan. Um, but before planning, let's just quickly write uh, our introduction. Okay, um, introduction. Just keep it simple and paraphrase the the main topic. Okay, you don't have to write anything too complex and too sophisticated. Um, okay, it is undoubted that uh, in our modern society because in today's world I changed to modern society many people claim that it is important uh, okay it is um, value of meaning okay that the importance of Humanities studies important uh, at least by the necessity of preparing for specific wealth producing career has been prevailed we prevailed by the need to pursue income generating 
Okay, that will be our synonym for wealth producing. Mm, income generating jobs, including medicine. Uh, let's put some more in there. Science, mm, technology, and in or maybe oh, it's better or oh, engineering. You don't write. You, you don't need to to write extra, you know, points in here. But <laughs> I just wanted to expand my answer a little bit. Okay, medicine, science, technology, or engineering. Okay, so now a statement from my own perspective. I have a strong belief that humanity, human, human, okay, humanity, humanistic. Um, I have a strong belief that human humanistic education is still vital in our fast changing civilization. This essay will elaborate further by providing eleven arguments and examples. Okay. Okay, so my tips is that uh, after we write our introduction, we'll move to conclusion immediately. Why? Because uh, conclusion is very easy to write and you can save time because uh, most of the students, I noticed that they all making the same mistakes that, you know, leaving conclusion to the last minutes and sometimes they don't have enough time because they're too busy writing the second paragraph and, and ending up uh, you know missing the conclusion so we're just gonna paraphrase the um, introduction to get our conclusion so in conclusion okay um, although people tend to prioritize the need to prepare for career that can make students become more competitive in the job market. Um, the study of humanities still has a role in our, I'm just paraphrasing basically, fi finding um, the synonyms of, um, of the words from the topic. Globalized world due to the advantages it provides to individuals okay all right very easy right so you got your conclusion here uh, so now we just need to write our body part body one and body two um, let's do our planning quickly um, so I agree the study of humanities is very important so we need to uh, explain why mm. firstly Humanities, a study of art, um, history, e literature, um, philosophy, sophy. Okay. Um, next. Um, okay. Advantages. Okay. Advantages. What are the advantages? So I'm going to say um, understand, help to understand the present better um, by learning about the past, communicate better. Mm. So we can at 
appreciate presence the present um help us to learn about different cultures languages religions and improve our social skills okay and also they can support creative thinking okay share ideas thoughts okay so now i have my plan here i'm gonna say i'm gonna write first of all firstly firstly studying history literature and philosophy maybe there's also there's others so philosophy and other hum humanities related subjects will help us to communicate with others more effectively in both written and spoken words to be specific um, by exploring the past we can understand the world better and delve into what we have achieved in order to understand or to appreciate the present also learn to communicate uh, did I say communicate uh, to we can learn about diverse cultures languages and religions which will aid to improve our social skills to support conversation okay now examples um, and instance illustrating this point is the successful role models such as Bill Gates and Barack Obama who are influencing people not only by they brought knowledge but also are able to demonstrate the ability to embrace um differences between people from 
diverse backgrounds to connect with them. I think that's about right. Okay, this is done. Let's just cut this. Different social skills. Okay, so I only have one point creative thinking. Mm, secondly, uh, humanities education enhances creative thinking, which mm, is just vital for accomplish for achieving financial success. It is through reading and examining um, the path that we can gain inspiration to come up with with a plethora, it means many, uh, of ideas and thoughts to create some valuable intellectual works. Okay? For example, um, J.K. Rowling was struggling financially because she was unemployed while writing Harry Potter. However, later she became one of the richest women in the history of the 300 words in the United Kingdom. I think that's enough. Okay, now proofreading. Read. It is undoubtedly that in our modern society, many people claim that the importance of humanity studies has been prevailed by the need to pursue income generating jobs including medicine, science, technology or engineering. From my own perspective, I have a strong belief that humanistic education is still vital in our fast changing civilization. This essay will elaborate further by providing relevant arguments and examples. Firstly, studying history, literature, philosophy and other humanities related sub uh, subjects uh, will help us to communicate with others more effectively in both written and spoken words. To be specific, by exploring the past, we can understand the world better and delve into what we have achieved in order to appreciate the present. We can also learn about diff diverse cultures, languages, and religions, which will aid to improve our social skills to support conversation. As uh, an, oh, an, okay, oh, an instance illustrating this point is the successful role models such as Bill Gates and Barack Obama, who are influencing people not only by their broad knowledge, but also are able uh, maybe here by demonstrating the ability to embrace differences between people from diverse backgrounds to connect with them. Secondly, humanities education enhances creative. Maybe I just cut this one. Okay. Secondly, humanities education enhances creative thinking, which is vital. I think I mentioned vital somewhere. Which is um, essential for achieving financial success. It is through reading and examining the past that we can gain inspiration to come up with a plethora of ideas and thoughts to create some valuable intellectual works. For example, JK capital letter. Rowling was struggling financial because she was unemployed while writing Harry Potter. However, she later, um, she later became uh, one 
of the richest women in the United Kingdom. In conclusion, although people tend to prioritize the need to prepare for careers that can make students become more competitive in the job market, uh, the study of humanity still has a role in our globalized, globalized world due to the, the advantages it provides to individuals. Okay, it is so hard to talk and write <laughs> at the same time. Um, but yeah, 289 and out of 300, I don't think there's any spelling mistakes. Let's move on. Okay, uh, the means of communicating in society today has changed markedly over the last 10 years. In, our, in your opinion, what are the positive and negative impacts of this change? Uh, okay. I think this topic is easier than the previous one because <laughs> the previous one is like I was so strong. Okay, let's just have a proofread. It is incontrovertible that the way society uses to convey information and messages have evolved considerably over the last decade. This essay will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of this trend by providing relevant arguments and examples. On the one hand, the most striking benefit of communication advancement is that people can connect with others without distance and time barriers. Uh, to be more specific with the existence of smartphones and the development of instant messaging, voice and video calls as well as social networking platforms, individuals can send messages and share their photos instantly at the click of a button. For example, the number of video conferences between participants from different geographical locations conducted via Skype and Oh, oh, outlook has increased dramatically over the past decade, which ameliorates the ways of conducting businesses on international scale. On the other hand, despite the substantial advantages of telecommunication technologies, there are some drawbacks as well. Firstly, spending excessive time on social media, maybe on the internet tend to distract people from the real in-person interactions and decrease the time they allocate to physical activities. Another downside is potential privacy issues. A prime example is Facebook, the social network website with almost a billion users, which maybe online, online users which faced a lawsuit claiming that it has been obtaining people's private personal information and data in order to develop political campaigns. To recapitulate, it is unquestionably, it is unquestionable, ooh, it is unquestionable that there are myriad of positive and negative influences instigated by the transformation of communication methods. Hence, people should use them more effectively and selectively in order to avoid any shortcomings. I think that's enough. Um, I think the quality is more important than quantity. Some people, you know, the previous essay I wrote almost 300 words, and actually a lot of people are doing the same mistake. You don't have to write 300. You can write 240, 250, as long as all the vocabulary that you use uh, is related to the topic, and uh, you use academic words. Don't have to be uh, difficult, sophisticated, uh, vocab as long as they are academic um, and you have the correct essay structure consisting of introduction, body one, body two, and conclusion, have thesis statement, have examples, uh, arguments, okay, you have uh, compound sentences, um, you use the correct grammar, spelling, and I ensure you, you will get uh, 79 for writing. Um, but don't forget that your writing also, your, your writing score also coming from reading, fill in the blank, as well as listening, um, fill in the blank and write from dictation. So um, it doesn't mean that you don't have to care about the writing part, right? Um, so make sure that you always check, double check your answer, or check all for all spelling mistakes or any grammar mistakes. I find the writing part the most relaxing out of four uh, section, and I hope that you can actually save time uh, and save energy. You know, writing is coming after speaking, so instead of spending too much uh, time and putting too much effort on this task, to save your energy for reading and listening because they are the ones that wait more 
compared to writing. Okay, um, and you know if you have uh, you know some vocab, some words that you use frequently, I recommend you to prepare some synonyms in advance so that you don't repeat the same word you know twice or like you know three times. It can decrease your uh, vocab score. Um, all right, what else? So and also for some written text. Uh, you need to uh, take into account that it also marks your reading. Uh, so don't try to paraphrase too much unless you know that the words that you're using are the same, exact same synonym for the words in the passage. Some people paraphrase way too much and then they're using uh, incorrect uh, words to, to paraphrase, um, which in turn can you know, decrease your score. Alright, okay, so let's submit this section.